Hey everybody, so um, I decided um, to go ahead and do a tutorial on how to set up your home screen aesthetic with the new iOS 14 update, okay? I know a lot of people have told me that they like my home screen setup, and so I was like, why not just go ahead and do a quick tutorial so you can do it on your own if you like, okay? So let's get into it. All right, so the first thing you want to do is you want to figure out the type of theme you want, okay? And so when I decided with mine, I knew that I um, I love pink, so I knew it was going to be some type of pink um, background, color, icons, tones. I knew that's what I wanted to start with. And then also um, just girly, like girly things um, and just things that I like once I saw them. But I knew I wanted to start it with pink, so that's the biggest thing. So, for example, you can do a sports theme. You can do a Black Lives Matter theme. You can do a money theme. You can do an 80s, a 90s theme, a music theme. So, it really just depends on your likes and what you want to do, okay? So, it's no right or wrong way. So, once you figure that out, um, the first thing you want to do is you want to get online, right? And you want to get on the internet. And so... Um, you want to find some good quality stock photos, all right? And so your best bet, well, the the best places to look for these, I would say Pexels is one, and then you have Pinterest, okay? And so let's just pull up Pinterest fresh. And I already done this, honestly, so I got some pictures, and I just want to show you guys. But just for an example, say um, you wanted to do, when you just go in. So, of course, it's going to pre-populate some stuff since I've already done, had a Pinterest account and have searched stuff. But say... Um, for today's example, I'm going to do purple. So we're going to do a purple aesthetic. And this is what you can start with to get you um, started off, okay? And so let's go into photos. And I've already. So let's choose this one. And we're going to make this a background. That's cute. All right, so we'll set that. Cool. So now we got a new home screen. All right, cool, cool, cool. Oh, and these kind of still go with it. All right, so once you do that, boom, you're done. So calendar is one I was going to use with mine, but I haven't. But it kind of goes with it, too. So let's pull this down. All right, so I'm going to show you guys how to get these icons next. All right, so the next thing you want to do is um, actually, I'm sorry. Let me pull this back because... I want to use this third page because I'm still not finished with mine. Um, but yeah. All right, cool. So hold on to your screen. And remember, you have to have your phone updated to the latest update, which is iOS 14. So in order to do this, you got to make sure you have an update or you won't be able to do it. Okay. And so hold on to your um, background and then you want to get this screen. And then you're going to add the plus sign. So this is how you can add widgets on your home page, okay? And so the first widget we're going to go in to add um, is going to be a color widget. And so I already have this on my front page. Um, and basically, this is what it looks like. So you can select the kind you want. So for this one, I'm going to select the long one. And unfortunately, you can't change them on each page. Like whatever one you pick is going to be uh, the same widget, okay? So, and you don't even have to have a widget on every page, but I just want to show you. So, this is an example. But say I wanted to change the background on this, right? So, color widgets, you go on your app store and you'll, you'll download color widgets um, out the app store, okay? And so, this is how you can get it customized like this. You can either pick the ones they have or um, even if you pick the ones they have, you can go ahead and select the picture you want. And so, since I got some purples, I'm going to go ahead and um choose one so we're going to choose that one and so there you go see and you can change the font and that's all you can do if you if you customize and select your own picture if not you can just go in and select the ones that they have already okay and so boom there we go it's all in your head i don't really like that too much it's not bad but that's this is just for um informational purposes and examples okay and so next let's add um another icon okay so how you do this is that you want to go to shortcuts and when you're in shortcuts we're going to go ahead and select plus and we're going to add one okay so that's shortcuts plus 
um, a new shortcut. So create a shortcut to actions you do in your apps every day. This is a part of the new iOS 14 update, okay? So add action. And then what we want to search in here. So your list of actions um, are here. So we want to do open app action, okay? So that's the action you want to search, open app. So once we select open app, you're going to see this pop up, right? And so then we're going to go ahead and select the three dots to edit it. And we're going to name it. So the first one we're going to do, um, I downloaded the phone icon. So let's just do phone. So phone, you want to name it phone or you can put talk to me. Just get creative here. You can use emojis, whatever you want to add. Okay. And so then you're going to do add to home screen. And then you have to remember, this is important um, to put the name back in here. Talk to me. And then you have to select this pre-set um, picture here, and then you want to choose a photo. This is very, very important because if you don't do it, it's going to go. It's going to be added to your home screen with this yellow um, icon, and you don't want that because you have to do it all over again because you can't just edit it, okay? So remember, put the name in, choose photo, and I have the purple photo here, and we're going to go ahead and just resize it and you can do this stuff on your own um you can download an app for it um a good one is over um an app over or you can just do it on iphone screenshot you know crop it make it the size you want so choose and then we're going to hit add and then we're going to hit done all right and so now they go talk to me right there so we're going to drag it over to our new and voila there's a new icon okay and so let's do that again um shortcuts we're going to do a new one open app now open in make sure open app oh i'm sorry no, so we're done with that one. Talk to me. Got to do a brand new one. So make sure you go back, add action, open app. Then this one we can just name um, what are we going to name this one? It could be IG. Okay. And so. It's a home screen. IG. Choose photo. And so let's do Miss Beyonce. And so we'll add it. It's been added here. Oh, and this is the important part. So for IG, you got to choose. So you need to choose Instagram. So go down and find it. When you find Instagram, boom, there we go. Now we're done. Talk to me see that's probably why all right yeah choose and we need to go down and we need to find phone is there done now there's ig boom there we go so now when we hit talk to me phone pops up ig ig pops up okay so that's that um also if you wanted to have like um Affirmations or any other widgets. This is a part of the new update. So when you select again, hold on the home screen, this will come up, hit the plus button, and you'll figure out which one you want. So let's say we wanted we could add music here if we wanted to. A small one. Only reason I probably wouldn't do this is because of the color, right? Because it kind of takes out of our color um thing. But if you that's your color thing that works perfect. Um, another one, which is a good one, is the reminders, okay? And so we can go ahead and, and add uh, reminders. So let's do that too. All right. All right, so it's not going to move for me. All right, we're not going to worry about that right now. So reminders. So if you go into um, your reminders, you can make them and change them, right? And so you add a new list by selecting this. You can change the icon. And this is one I just did um, just for informational purposes, right? And so we can go in and we can edit this. We can change the icon. 
So let's make it. I love like hearts and things like that. So we can make it that in BLM or that would be the name, right? So we'll change it to Queen, maybe. That's fine. We got a purple, um, a purple thing. And so that'll be there. Now, if you want to add it, whatever you add to it, you put a new reminder in. So um, you can do a list of affirmations or you can really make a list to remind you of what you need done here, right? So um, go to bank. Do 20 minute cardio workout. Walk the dog. All right? So then when you go in, there you go. You have them there. And then what else? Um, the same thing is for these icons too. You can drag, put whatever you want to be where. Drag, drag, drag make this different um say if i bought all these up here see you can switch them out make them look different so i can so you see how it has to be more right and so if i wanted to um and then you could change the list which is or get quick access to whatever your list is which is neat um say i wanted to add another widget um i'm trying to think of a good one we already have calendar let me do the let's do the air from the reminders one again and so i just want to show you see small so how you can get it grouped in right and we could take this one off but when you do it like that all of them not gonna pop up all of your your list or whatever so keep that in mind because this is my home screen and so this is how it looks how i, I like this out this um you know, this look like this, how it is, but you can change it, customize it, however you want it to um, look. And I know I'm going to probably change it soon, but yeah. And I want to work on these pages where you see, how you can see the regular icons. I'm going to change all those pictures too from other pictures, but that's it. Pretty simple. Um, and the widgets, oh, the other widgets too. Go down. So one is widget smith and the other is color widget so the color widget is this one the one we did first and so let me just show you the other widget which is widget smith and you just get those from the app store and so you just can select which one you want i mean i wouldn't probably put this i'll probably put this on like an ipad or something you know this big large one like this but um so we wanted to get this medium one boom and you go in and you can edit it and so you edit it you can change everything about it you can change it so it's just given that only the time or you can change it so it's giving you know the day and a calendar you can also customize it to make a make it a photo but once you do that um keep in mind that let's see see so it'll just flat out be that and that's how i got mine i really like this purple though um so yeah this is just one way you can do it it's no right or wrong way get creative but the biggest thing you want to do is make sure you got all your pictures ready because that's the to me that's really like the biggest the hardest part knowing the theme that you want and then once you got all your pictures together then you can move them around change them and things like that but yeah that's how you do it so Thank you so much for checking out my tutorial for the aesthetic um, homepage customization for iOS 14. If you have any questions, concerns, you like it, don't like it, let me know. Please, please, please. And again, thank you so much for tuning in. And yeah. Oh, and send me a, a home, um, sorry, home screen, Lord, a screenshot after you've done yours. Okay. I would like to see it. But yeah. Cool. Thanks so much. All right. Bye.